Okay, so this is the side of our garage here. You see where the horses come from. And then this is usually where we walk through to get into the forest or woods. <laughs> Dayton has his little woods hammock that we made last year that he loves with Chase to cuddle up in when they come and hang out in here and play Frisbee golf. <laughs> so there's a lot of trees back here that we could thin out. And I don't know if we're gonna start back here because we do kind of like the privacy before the open back part of the property. So we might leave some of this, but we do have about an acre of land over to the west here of our property. And it's so grown in that you can't even walk over there. So we're not even utilizing that property for even Anything. just enjoyment of walking through. So there's a lot of these, I would say three to four inch, five inch, even six inch round trees that we could you know, clear cut out and use and utilize for our fences. So we do have a lot of trees that do need to fall and we're gonna use them up for our fences for our property line. So we're excited to get into that cutting. We were expecting to do that this March, but obviously <laughs> winter has come a little late this year or maybe winter's always late around this time in March, but it is the beginning of March and March is usually cold at the start of March. So when we got here, April, 2021, it was pouring rain right. and there was not a single snowflake on the ground March 1st. So we expect that maybe two more weeks of like snow on the ground. And then we should hopefully have maybe just some rainy conditions and we can actually get outside to finally do some of the outdoor projects. So this whole area here is an example of how many fallen trees we have that would make great posts. You can see we have about 20 of them just straight in this whole clump right here that fell down before we even arrived here. And then we also have this amazing stream that runs right through, which would be so nice to have right by our ducks. We can do a fence here and not have to do posts because we can do the chicken wire fence around a whole duration of area to keep them in. Right now our ducks and our hens live together. And so we have no problem with them living together and cohabitating. I think it would be so cute to have our hen coop back here where they have this beautiful stream. We get such beautiful sunlight down in this area. And we can open up and clear this little spot here and still leave them lots of shade. They'll have great protection for storms in the winter time and the big, huge summer windy storms that we get. I think it's not a bad idea to utilize where this like water system is just for the ducks to play in and have fun. They'll have their water source. We provide them obviously, but the house is right there. We are literally 50 to 75 feet from the house. We can come right down this main pathway right here, which takes us right beside the horse corral. That is right the horse corral right there to the left as soon as you get to the end of the tree line there. So it's very close to the house. And I think it's going to be beautiful back here. Need some cleaning up, but yeah. it definitely would be really nice. And there's a lot of trees in here that all need to come down. Remember this property was abandoned, right? So the last three people that owned this property didn't do any maintenance back here at all for the 
for the woods at all. Like it, we've cleared so much stuff out. You've seen, we've taken out glass bottles, all the stuff that they buried underneath everything. We've been cleaning up all this space. So because we were focusing so much on inside, it's this year we really do want to focus on getting some more of these outdoor living spaces situated because we don't want our woods to have all this fallen stuff. We want to try to rake out and clear up as much as we can, but still keep all of the really beautiful like heritage trees that are back here. Being able to clear out all this deadfall will give the living really healthy, large, old, old trees that probably have so many stories to tell on our property, it'll give them more space to be healthy and flourish in the woods, which I think is great because we do have a lot of wildlife back here, but there is just tons of deadfall. <laughs> Always on, always on my mind and way out of my mind. You were born, you were born to be on this place, and I'm hard to leave. Thought of you, hoping that the river. If the only reason you're doing this is because you want to use the winch. <laughs> the boys will have so much fun pulling these out with the quad. You're good. Woo! Push her this way. There you go. Some light on the ripples. Somehow you notice me. thin ones because I can make fencing for the chicken duck area oh, yeah. and it will be totally natural oh, yeah. it would look beautiful <laughs> I won't let them go to waste I'll use them yeah I'm I'm only soaked right through my boots okay don't cut around it because I do want like a nice strong perimeter for the no but I need to cut this one yep and that one and yep. these should fall but they're gonna come this way which one are you are you gonna cut that big one in the middle one? no or no yeah you can leave that one there yeah I kind of like that one but this one here yeah because the one that the big one's still growing at the top <laughs> I'm not ready to commit to to Cutting down that big one. <laughs> Can you go back to the Yep. Oh, how sweet. He doesn't want to fall a tree on me. The 
This is so exciting to be starting this step of making a space for everything that we want to do on the homestead. I think we're going to look back in a year from now and see that we've come so far, just like when we looked at this last year, how far we came inside the house. I'm hoping that we can look back on this year, 2023, and think about how far we came, not only on the inside of the house, because we are going to be starting more inside projects this week, but that we can look at the outside and know that we made so much progress on being sustainable and doing everything that we dreamt to do that we have on our bucket list. And hey, if Philip gets to have fun with the chainsaw in the process, all the more worth it. I don't know if you remember last year, but we had to take out a really large old tree that was falling over the brook. And the boys had so much fun using their new quads to be able to extract the tree and they were here together with their papa and their nana were visiting at the time and Philip and they got it all cut down and the boys helped to winch it to make sure that the wood could go in a pile so we could burn it or use the good wood that was from that tree and the amount of enjoyment that that brought the boys was astonishing so I know they're going to absolutely love getting all of these trees pulled out of the woods here and then Philip will be with them to help cut all of the limbs off so that we just have the main stock so that we can use that for the fencing and how rewarding that we'll have been able to build, hand build all of the fencing for the acreage from all of these old trees that are already dead and have already fallen for how many years, we don't know. We're not going to take down any healthy live trees that are really old on the property. The thin, str really straggly ones that are maybe alive but aren't really doing well and don't have the space to continue to grow, then fine. But we wanna make sure that we preserve as much of this woods as we possibly can and keeping all of our privacy, just making little areas that we can actually make use of this land. Elise is gonna go around and mark all these at eight feet. Yeah, I think eight feet. We can cut them shorter if we want, but I think we won't know till we know exactly where they're going. Roughly eight feet. And then I'm gonna come along and cut them all to size and then we'll pile them up and see where we're at. <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely gonna, I mean, we'll see where we're at in this little area. <laughs> like I'm thinking we got maybe 10 posts here. <laughs> There we go. She just pulled. to do they're perfect yeah. you just line up one on another and then you don't have to measure every time I think this is going to be incredible to be able to get this whole spot completely cleaned up, cleared out, and then also be able to use the wood for our fences. We get to do two projects accomplished at the same time, at least get our building materials accomplished out of that, save a whole ton of money. Like $14 plus tax per post is what it would cost us to order posts. And we know from ordering the last ones, they weren't even really perfectly straight. And no, no straighter than, well, I mean, some of these are pretty crooked, but no straighter than most of these. And most of the straight ones are in there, but we'll 
we'll clean up this area and then we'll move on in. I mean, one small area at a time, otherwise it would be so overwhelming. A little bit here and there. By the time the weather really clears up, we'll have enough to at least get started on the first paddock. A few broken chainsaws and we'll be at the same price if we bought them anyway. <laughs> Aww. You are probably going to go through a blade or two. Or five. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones that are really crooked, we might be making some of them shorter for some little cross areas, things like that. So don't worry too much over no. some of the parts that are really crooked because we'll worry about that when we get a whole bunch kind of situated. Well, you can see just how clear we are after just an afternoon of work. We have so much cleared out of this spot. Pretty incredible how quickly we were able to actually get this done. We have lots more to clear out. Everything in the center there needs to go. We have about 18 logs already ready for our first set of fence posts. We probably need about 300 for paddocks one and two, but we're going to get there. Surely by a couple weeks time when the weather's getting nice, we'll be ready to auger holes to get our fences in for paddocks one and two.